I haven't been doing much demonstrating of blacksmithing to the public lately, so I thought I'd lay out some of the uh, things that I bring with me when I do go demonstrating before the public. When I'm demonstrating to the public, I'm there for their entertainment and possibly a little education. So I never uh, am concerned if people ask the same question twice. When I'm demonstrating to the public, I like to make things that would have been used back in the uh, late 1800s. Uh, I guess I'm a kind of a traditional hobbyist blacksmith. And I like to show people how life was done back then and why they would have had to go to the village blacksmith. I also like to keep the projects short so that uh, the projects can be completed within the attention span of the viewers. So here's a quick rundown of things that I make. I make chain. I start with about seven inches of three-eighths round, bend it, scarf it, weld it, make three, and then add threes together to get longer chains. I make nails, lots of nails. Sometimes I fool around and make really long little nails just to show it can be done. I like to show the amount of shape change that blacksmithing can uh, accomplish. This little S-shaped candle holder can be made from flat bar or it can be made from these two pieces of round stock and the result turns out to be the same. Uh, so I show people how that's done. And to turn this little piece into the candle cup, I need to severely squish it and stretch it out so I even made a special pair of tongs to hold both ends while I'm in that process. This is a Tommy sticker or a miner's lamp some people call it. I like to show how this complex shape can be made from this piece of stock. I make these tiny tomahawks. I know the handle's kind of out of scale but uh, that's a crowd pleaser. Once in a while, I'll make a knife. I'm not a knife maker, <clears throat> but I make it out of uh, this one out of rebar just to show how you can repurpose materials. I like to make these little tongs out of quarter inch square. I can do the bit, you know, in one heat with the turn it over three times. And then when I make them, <clears throat> I uh, make one half and then I ask the crowd, do I make the second half the same or the mirror image? And uh, uh, then we have a vote and so on and see what happens. And here's just one example of a screwdriver. I make spoons, uh, nothing fancy, but just to uh, demonstrate how you can stretch out the material. Once in a while I'll bring some horseshoe nails and make a ring or two. Strikers, I make strikers uh, fairly often. Um, uh, and I think I'm teaching people, I pretend in my own mind, I'm teaching people a little bit about heat treating when I do that. And I make them out of brand new W1 steel. And then I also will make char cloth on the spot uh, and of course talking my way through all of that. And S-hooks, I make a lot of S-hooks and I often start out with either uh, nails or S-hooks as I start explaining the eight basic processes of blacksmithing. Here's a little mouse that I make once in a while. Here's a kind of an ugly looking branding iron which was part of another demonstration but it's basically the letter N uh, which stands for Now Then. The mercantile store at the Now Then Threshing Show sold yo-yos, uh, wooden yo-yos, and uh, uh, people would buy the yo-yo and then they would be sent down to the blacksmith shop where we would brand the yo-yo. Here's a demonstration with railroad spikes and the uh, reason for this one is to show that uh, uh, just because there's an HC on the head of the spike 
uh, doesn't mean that they are high carbon steel for making knives. Uh, maybe higher carbon, but not high enough. So what I do is to stretch these things out, make them thin, quench them in water, and then see whether they bend or break. And uh, the three samples that I have here all bend and don't break. So I conclude from that that knife making with railroad spikes is probably not a good idea if you want a real uh, knife that will hold an edge. And then toys. Uh, here's a famous old uh, nail puzzle. And uh, the old horseshoe puzzle, which always uh, is a crowd pleaser. I often have two of these hanging around. And then I have a, a stamp uh, that makes a check mark, and so I will uh, make one of those uh, or just pass this around to the crowd and ask them to figure out what it is and they all make guesses and it's all wrong and then I explain that since I'm a blacksmith and this is my forge I forge stuff and therefore this is a forged check and that always gets a laugh. And uh, whatever kind of strikes my mind or if it's simple enough if somebody asks about it here's a, just an example of a skewer. In closing these are all things that I can make fairly quickly uh, while maintaining the attention span of the people who came there to be entertained and maybe learn something about the way that things used to be done. Thank you for watching.